however much you can try and control nature and cut out the bad bits. Uh, attempts are futile and weeds will always invade. Hi, I'm Tyree. Hi, I'm Esther and this is our exhibition, The Day Works the Willpower. We work in the same studio together at Edinburgh College of Art and we're really good friends so we kind of talk about our work a lot to kind of work through ideas. Yeah, so we have overlapping themes and aesthetic qualities in our work as well. So we both look at cartoons and comics and storytelling. Um, and both of us talk about our experiences with illness growing up. So my experience with my dad who struggled with addiction. And um, I experienced teenage cancer when I was younger. Um, so we kind of try and focus on um, themes of growth and illness and repair, but in a more curious and exciting way. It's colourful. Kind of so we've kind of been thinking about the space of the garden as an unruly space where kind of weeds are invasive and um, however much you can try and control nature and cut out the bad bits, uh, attempts are futile and weeds will always invade. And so I guess we see the wheelbarrow as something where you remove the weeds and the things that you don't want. Um, and so if that's missing, you can't really tidy your garden. So my practice is kind of, I create these blobby men, beings, whatever people want to call them, um, kind of in response to how cancer cells were described to me when I was young. as kind of um, unexplained, curious growth that took control. Um, and I'm kind of interested in how the non-normative body has to kind of face barriers, go through barriers differently than the normative body. So in my practice I look at addiction and particularly addiction stigma just from my ex witnessing what my dad faced. Um, I sort of, I've done a lot more research um, just about the barriers that he faced in healthcare and this kind of stuff because addiction is seen as a choice um, and like a moral failing. Oftentimes people who are struggling with addiction don't receive adequate care and support. And so my work is based around trying to reframe addiction as an illness and not something a person chooses but an adaptive response to bad social and economic circumstances.